Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are currently burping memes because she, <laughs> all the four ounces were so good, huh? A full bottle, so good. So today I went on the road. thought that it would never end today and I have a day of appointments and I'm out here and it's already drizzling a little bit tragic but we're still going and she spent the day with her dad I went and did my nails you know a little bit of self-care One errand done. There. I did that. I finally went to what was supposed to be my six week postnatal visit. And, um, you know, everything was good. My doctor cleared me. I'm going to insert that to show you guys. I came for my six week follow up. It really is eight weeks because I had to reschedule, but this is the earliest. And I have to undress. I remember when I just found out that I was pregnant. This happened to me too. I have to undress. And my skin is so dry. I really need to get into the habit of moisturizing. So when I go back, I have to go to the Walgreens. Go to the grocery store. Because the only thing I did so far was go to the nail salon. So cute. Hi, Barbie. And my doctor's appointment. And I have another appointment after this. Oh, my God. Finishing off with my old baby. Wearing jeans for the first time. Everything looks fine. I can wear pom-poms. I can work out. Basically, I can do everything that I was doing before baby. But we're not trying to come back here, so. But I was finally able to go do that. And then I had to run to my primary care after that because I had seen her two weeks ago, but she wanted me to come back after going to see my OB. And, um, you know, I got off of the medication that I was on during my pregnancy for the blood pressure. And I got onto something that I was taking prior to. She gave me birth control, the same one that I was taking prior to. And um, what else did we go over? You know, she cleared me basically for everything that you would normally do prior to baby. So that's good. So I'm very excited to start working, start walking more and start doing some little at-home workouts like I would before. Very excited for that. Um, but yeah, I was just watching a labor and delivery video, right? Oh no, she always holds my necklace. Her, she's one of those babies who she has to burp twice. So I was gone for about maybe five hours six hours almost and I missed her so much when I came back I was just sitting there waiting for her to wake up and she was not she was out like a light she slept for about five hours and so she woke up I gave her a little bath a little shower I didn't even set up her bath I just brought her in there and just rinsed her off in my hand and everything and then I gave her four ounces of breast milk and she devoured that so now she's she's slump right <laughs> Here going right but I missed her so much I just had to love her for a little bit so I did all of that today um then I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up the medication because I'm like since I'm already out here and I don't have her with me I might as well do that what else did I do I have I had a, a growing to-do list that was growing more than anything else while I was out there because I'm like you know what I don't actually have her with me where you know, I have to worry about her being hot or this or that or whatever. Yeah, I had to drop something off of one of the little roadside mailboxes, so I did that. One of the errands that I had to run today was to go to the roadside mailbox and drop something off. And look at that. I have not had a matcha in so long today. I'm feeding myself nails, matcha. My nails, the doctor's office, my OB, the Walgreens. 
Oh, I did go to the Dollar Tree. I didn't check that off because I had to buy some some more of the body armor drinks for breast milk because I kid you not, they definitely do work. And I love that. I got all of those little things done and today I really felt like a good iron day. I felt like I got so much accomplished. The only thing I had, I have a few more things I'm going to have to do, but I'm waiting. I was waiting for a package from FedEx and it's two days now they've said it, it, it's delayed. And it's the other day I had to send something off to and I sent it with FedEx, which it would have been cheaper to send it with the post office. And it was delayed for two days and I, I wanted to get there by a certain time and it just didn't. And it felt like a waste of my time because for that I could have just gone to the post office, sent it regular, and it got there in the seven or eight days that it took FedEx to put it there for cheaper. But you know, water under the bridge, moving on. But yeah, I was watching somebody's labor and delivery video a while ago and it really took me back to when I had Mia. And I'm telling you, the you really do need need that support from people and the girl was basically saying you need the support during your pregnancy and you definitely need it after and i feel like you need it after more than anything else because i feel like had i not been supported i would have been fine going through my pregnancy but the afterwards you know she was talking about like the people that were there in the hospital room for her and stuff like that and you know having my friend there with me too was everything you know in the moments where i just felt like oh my god i can't even she really was there to remind me listen you're fine even though like we were on the phone texting back and forth before she actually came there and you know i'm just like oh my gosh i'm stressed yada 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 i didn't plan for this because obviously the day when i had her was not the day that i was supposed to have her at all i thought i was going in and i would have had her a week later it didn't end up working out like that you know i had her that same day and it's funny because i used to joke about it at work that i'm gonna i want to work one night and go in the next morning and have her boy if manifestation isn't real i don't know what is because if i didn't manifest that i didn't manifest anything else in my entire life and so you know it was such an emotional roller coaster just being there and like seeing how people show up for you and the support that you get from people and the support that you wanted from people that you didn't get and just the whole thing i'm telling you an emotional roller coaster and i can see how um you have postpartum depression afterwards and and you're even depressed during the pregnancy and you know i could see how all of those things could happen based on just not having the support that you're looking for especially from the people that you expect it from and for, you could just it's so easy to spiral bobs you're sleeping but you have to burp that hasn't happened yet you know she eats and she gets so comfortable and it's like she forgets that <laughs> she needs to burp I'm not patting her, but naturally when I put her up high enough, she will. But I need them four ounces to settle because I don't want her spitting that up. So we're here with her. But that's what I spent my day doing today. I have some laundry right here that I did. Was it yesterday? Either yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday that I have to put away. So I brought them inside here to fold them up. But as soon as I came in here is when she woke up and I'm like, mm -mm, scratch that. I got to go spend some time with my girl because I didn't see her for so many hours and I missed her. Oh, every little thing I'm doing, I'm wondering, oh my gosh, how is she doing? I'm texting her dad. He's not replying. <laughs> just, I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? You know, just wondering. And I think it's just mainly because it's the first time I've left her and like gone to do anything. Because the other day is like, I'll just strap her on to me and we'll go to the little roadside mailbox or whatever. But it was, it was something. But she was fine. I know that she was in good hands, but I just missed her. Wait, Bobs, did you miss me? She's sleeping. I need to put in this other app how much she ate. I didn't even put it on yet. This was about 8 p.m. Yeah, a little bit before 8 p.m. We'll, we'll do that. Four ounces. And I find that for her, the more she eats, the longer she sleeps for. When her dad feeds her, she doesn't eat all of it. I think. Whenever he's feeding her and she starts like making a lot of noises, he takes it out maybe because he thinks something is wrong. And I keep telling him, just keep it there. You know she's going to eat it, but, <laughs> you know, he's doing his own thing with her. But when I feed her, she lays there and she eats the whole thing. Maybe because I know that, you know, she's fine. I, I'm, I have a better routine with her, mainly because I'm here with her all day long, seven days a week. And so I know that she's going to eat all of it or I know how to get her to eat all of it. But like the more she eats, the longer she sleeps for. So like right now, it's 8 p.m. and she's sleeping. She shouldn't wake up until 
12 or 1 which is really really good and then when she gets that bottle at like 12 1 she's not waking up until 6 a.m. 6 a.m. if we're lucky so now normally when I as soon as she wakes up I change her diaper because I'm realizing that when you feed her first and then try to change the diaper after she's sleeping now you messed up the sleep when you have to wake her up to change the diaper so I change it first before when she was pooping more um, I would change it after I feed her because like clockwork every time after you feed her she would poop but now it's a little bit different you know her pooping has changed from pooping 10 times a day to like maybe once right she's she's transitioning right now with the pooping so um I know that I could comfortably change her first and then like feed her and she's completely fine so we did that she's nice and cool I'm gonna turn the air on spend a little bit more time with her because I feel like I did not get a lot of time with her today and um really put her down hi what's that put her down and then I'm gonna fold the laundry and finish watching some Netflix because I've been watching Manifest and I'm so obsessed her dad and I had started watching it quite some time ago and I really could not get into the damn plane show but now it's maybe because i'm bored and have nothing else to do it's so damn good i cannot get up from in front of it like we've just been waking up in the mornings getting ourselves together and head into the living room to watch it because i like the tv in the living room because it's nice and big and like the picture quality is better it's so so nice so i'll be going out there but the last couple of days i just felt like oh my gosh i want to relax like my neck is tired from sitting up all day let me just watch it here so i've been doing that too but i'm probably going to turn it on here and watch it here and then um do the laundry fold the laundry when she's sleeping and then yeah I was gonna shower with her but I didn't even end up doing that because it seemed like it would have been too much of a process and as soon as I came home her dad retired <laughs> it's like he had a day so it's just been us since right Bubs? right Bubs? okay